what I'm going to talk about quickly now is just a few tips and tricks with social media and, and why it should be taken seriously. If you're not on it, definitely get on it. If you haven't got a band page on Facebook or Twitter or anything like that, do it. Do it this afternoon. Um, do it now if you can. Um, but because technology, technology has changed everything. So what I've got on the side here is the inauguration of the Pope. So 2005, but this is pre-social media, pre-smartphones, or smartphones introduced around 2007. Interaction was primarily a human experience, very one-to-one, -one, and you controlled your image as a brand, uh, and you had very little, and fans had little abilities to find you, or they had traditional avenues to find. That's why, when you look back, so many of these rock stars look like legends because of the way that they controlled their PR and how little and how difficult it was to find out information about them. You just relied on uh, the hearsay and the stories and the and the legends that were formed around them. Nowadays, it's completely different. Your customers, uh, fans, are completely spoiled for choice, and engaging with them is much, much easier. You can have your own Twitter account and your own Instagram account. You can have band channels. It's now ridiculously easy to control how you engage with your audience, and your fans have control as to when and how they engage with you as well. They may follow you on Twitter. They may follow you on Facebook. They may sign up to your Snapchat. They may want to follow you on Instagram. The information is everywhere, and it's entirely consumable, and it's all in their pocket. And um, you know, you really have to um, put a lot of effort into that because it definitely pays off dividends in terms of the engagement that you're creating with that audience. Uh, it also lifts the veil, so to speak. I had, I had one guy that I followed because he was one of my favorite guitarists, and I had to unfollow him because, as a personality, I really didn't like him. Um, so you were one Facebook status. You're, oh, hey, we're playing down at the uh, thing next week. <laughs> That's one of nearly 700,000 Facebook statuses that happened in the last seven, uh, 60 seconds. Now, these stats are a few years old, but they're still valid. 80,000 wall posts. In the last minute, 25 hours of video was loaded up onto YouTube. One of them is going to be your music video. And over 13,000 iPhone apps have been downloaded. It's a very, very saturated market. And what I want to really enforce is that don't get too focused on the fact you've got 10, 15, 20, 25,000 followers. What you need to be focused on is engaging with your audience. A highly engaged audience base of 20 is going to be much more rewarding than 50,000 followers that don't do anything and certainly don't click on the links that you're sending or purchase your album on iTunes. So it's about engaging, and it's engagement is key. Case in point, I'll just quickly read this out. Um, you know, have you seen recently on Facebook when you go to click on something on your phone, it doesn't go to your browser, it goes to a kind of Facebook browser and it opens up separately? There's a key reason for that. When you click on something and a link takes you away from Facebook or away from a channel, it takes about, on average, eight seconds to load. And from a user interface perspective, Facebook have decided that that's way too long. Now think about that. We're talking about an attention span where eight seconds is too long. This is the audience that we're dealing with. One of the videos I put up on one of my pages uh, a few weeks ago now, this was an audience retention data from a video I put up on one of my channels. And an average view duration was 56 seconds for a three minute video. So I'm battling with the fact that within the first eight seconds, I need to get their attention. And within the first minute, I need to retain them because all of my call to actions in terms of what I want them to do are at the end of the video. We're dealing with a market that's very, very difficult to get their attention and to hold their attention. So, uh, you know, having a link on your Facebook that goes off to YouTube, that doesn't work anymore because they have to click on it to open YouTube. You have to put everything and keep it in the channel that you're talking about. Luckily now, Facebook embed videos, Twitter embed videos, Instagram do videos, Vine do it, uh, videos. Multimedia on your Facebook channels is the key. Simple text is boring, it's not going to work, it takes too long to read, and people will just simply walk away. So you have to build engagement with multimedia. And these are some good examples here. One is from uh, Seymour Duncan, one of the uh, pickup brands that I uh, work with. Really, really cool products, by the way. But this video is a brief description of it, and they put up a video, of a visual and audio example of the product that they're talking about. And then on the right, we've got Starbucks. Now, Starbucks do um, social media quite well because they do some really nice photos of the products that they're talking about. And they've actually done studies on this, and they've shown that multimedia information on social media provides 50% more likes, 104% more comments than text, and 84% more click-through links. Re reality is, in terms of social media marketing, you're putting up stuff for people to click on it and go through and buy stuff. 
So links to your iTunes, links to your Spotify, or links to your albums and what have you. So you really need to retain them with information. Now, the great thing is we're all musicians, we're all artists, so we have media that we can share in terms of, um, you know, singing or, uh, or, or whatever we do. We're not starved for information that we can provide. But again, uh, a, a text Facebook the night before, hey, we're playing at Gilligan's tomorrow, you should come along. It's not going to work. We need to put up photos, put up the tour poster, even put up a short video clip, you know, saying, hey, I've got, and in the text, I've got a, a great message or yeah, information below. The great thing with Facebook now is that when you scroll through, it auto plays those videos. So now it's even easier for your people to consume the information that you're putting up. And fortunately, Kiwis love Facebook. This information was released by Facebook a few months ago as um, we had some milestones in terms of 2.5 million Kiwis use Facebook per month and 1.5 million of them use it per day on their mobile devices. Mobile devices for social now is priority number one. Content needs to be consumable uh, on your mobile devices. It needs to look cool. And fortunately for our demographic, millennials, digital natives, as marketers call it, um, you have Snapchat, you've got Instagram, you've got so many cool channels now to create that engagement with your audience. And 71% of the most popular categories on Facebook happen to be entertainment. That's us. So we've got a great platform to reach that big market, as Joe was talking about. There's so many Big Macs that you can throw through this channel. People are going to lap it up.